Welcome back here to Inside the Vandals, everybody. Idaho coach Don Verlin joining me now, coach. And really one of the keys this year has obviously been the senior play of Kyle Barone, uh, arguably working his way to possibly a, uh, an all whack season once again, maybe even whack player of the year. Our Alyssa Charleston sits down with Kyle to get to know him both on the court and off. Thanks, Madison. Well, I am here with Idaho center Kyle Barone, who actually just became Idaho's leading low post scorer. How does it feel in that kind of game um, to know that you got to that point? Yeah, I didn't know until about after the game when I got interviewed by, I think, Evan, who told me. But, uh, yeah, you said it's an accomplishment to be that top of the uh, scoring for the school, and, uh, you know, it's a, good, it's a good accomplishment. You're definitely leaving your mark. Um, as far as um, conference play goes, you just marked your eighth double-double. You are a clear impact player on this team, and other teams are clearly building their defensive game plan around you. How do you kind of um, find your teammates, make sure that you're not that you're still a huge contributing factor. Yeah, like you said, they're going to come at me uh, with doubles, uh, multiple, I'm going to see every kinds of doubles, the guards, the bigs, and I just got to make the right decisions. And, uh, and I trust my teammates, they're going to make the right play, make the shots. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, I think our main thing is uh, just reading each other, reading um, if he's going to cut, if he's going to spot up for a three. Um, but more and more the conference games goes on, we're getting better at that. So senior year, you've been under Coach Don Verlin for four years. What is it, what is it like to be um, with Verlin? Um, he's a really, really excellent O's guy. He, he gets us ready to play, ready what we're going to expect, who we're playing next. He gets us ready, I mean, better than any coach I've ever had. Um, he, they take time, watch film, um, tell us what exactly we're going to face the next game. And, um, you know, he's a, he really just wants perfection, and uh, that's a good one, Coach. It's clear that you've improved a ton since your freshman year also. What mm -hmm. kind of things do you do, not only in the offseason, but also during season to get to where you are right now, 25 and 16 games consistently? Um, I think just uh, being in great shape. Uh, this is probably the best shape I've ever been in, and um, that's probably the most important, especially playing basketball. If you can't you know, breathe and run up and down the court, uh, you're not going to have success. And uh, just confidence. You know, I've been playing a lot of college games in my career, and... You know, it's just getting comfortable, more and more, more and more comfortable for me um, playing, and uh, especially my teammates too. They were finding me, especially those last few games. Um, um, half of it's their job, half it's my job. So I mean, uh, I got to thank them too. Absolutely. Anything that you enjoy doing off the court in terms of? I know you don't have a whole lot of free time, but what is it? Video games or I don't know, knitting. Knitting. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, like you said, we don't we don't have that much time, um, especially during basketball. Um, so I'm just trying to relax, recover from practice, and you know, just chill at home. Great. Well, hopefully, we got to know Kyle Barone a little bit more. Back to you, Madison. So, Coach Kyle, just overall, his four years, fantastic. Talk about how he's gotten there. Yeah, uh, Kyle's been great all year long, and and you know, and, and what I tell you about Kyle is he comes to work every day. Uh, you know what he's done. From a standpoint of rebounding the ball, I think it's his biggest improvement. He's leading the whack and rebounding almost 12 rebounds a game. And, and again, as he's shown his whole career, he's shot a high field goal percentage. Uh, and, and that's what's made Kyle so good is his consistency. But the, the, how you get the consistency as a player is you come to work every day. So, Coach, back at home this week inside the Cowan Spectrum. Only three home games left for you this season. You start off Thursday against a UT Arlington team that you guys were able to get a win down in Arlington against. Talk about what the Mavericks' strengths are and really maybe where your guys' strengths are against that Arlington team. Well, uh, UT, UTA is a, is a very well-coached team, and their strength is definitely defensively. They're one of the best defensive teams in the conference. They force a lot of turnovers, and what we were able to do uh, when we were in Arlington a, a number of weeks ago was make some shots. Uh, Connor Hill played extremely well. Kyle Barone had 18 rebounds, and, and we, are, we really moved our ball all game long, and that's what we have to do in the Spectrum on Thursday night. And you talk about the explosive game from Connor Hill. There are also Stephen Madison, a fantastic offensive output in that one as well. Then Saturday, we move to Louisiana Tech. This is a Louisiana Tech team that's 12-0 in conference. They're 21-3 overall in the season, a fantastic team. There's no doubting that Louisiana Tech, but you guys showed in Ruston that they can be beat. How do you finish off that job here 
in the spectrum? Well, the thing you have to do against Louisiana Tech is you have to take care of your basketball. They're going to press us from start to finish. I mean, every every possession, they're going to have some type of pressure on us, and we got to do a great job of taking care of our ball. And we did that until the last two minutes of the game where we turned it over four of our last six in Ruston. Uh, number two is, is, is you got to really guard the dribble. They, they do a great job. They're quick and athletic. They do a great job driving the ball to the basket, and we got to make sure we stay in between them and the basket. Easier said than done against a very good Louisiana Tech team who's playing with a lot of confidence. So now you guys, unfortunately, after the road sweep loss last weekend, you're able to get back home. Just talk about how important it is to get back in front of some friendly fans after a weekend like that to really get yourself going the right way before the tournament. Well, that's exactly right. And, and what you got to do is, is make sure you come out with the emotion and the energy and, and, and you got to do everything you can to scratch out a couple home wins this week because uh, it's, it's huge for conference seating, as we already talked about. So, Don, thank you very much for joining us here this week. Good luck this weekend. Get a couple big wins here inside the Spectrum. We'll get rolling toward the tournament here. Thanks, Madison. I right, appreciate it. Although the Cowan Spectrum is down now in just a few short months, it'll be turf covering the floor of the Kibbe Dome. Just last week was National Letter of Intent Day. Here's what Idaho coach Paul Petrino had to say about his new signees. I think it's a great class. I think initially we our needs, we had to get running backs and linebackers. We already got a bunch of them on campus. They're doing a great job. That was huge. We always are looking to get speed. I think uh, getting three kids out of the state of Florida that can flat fly is a great deal. That's always important for us. We want to get back and dominate in the Northwest. I think we did a good job in the Seattle-Tacoma area. We need to get back and do a better job in Oregon. That's an area that we did not, uh, we were just a little too late getting into that area. That's something we want to dominate here in the coming up future. It's good to get a couple good Idaho kids. We'll have a couple more that are gray shirting. I can't say their name right now because the NCAA uh, rules, but um, we have a couple more that will be coming in at mid-year. And um, we just got to get the best kids in Idaho every year. And very excited about this class. And, you know, I think with the new staff coming in, the excitement of the new staff, we're not going to talk about anything that happened in the past. We're just moving forward. Um, that's the way we attacked every home visit. That's the way we talked about the kids that are coming in. They came on campus. They saw the players. You know, we just talked about moving forward. And then they see how hard the players are working. They feel the energy. Um, there's a great tradition at University of Idaho in the past. And that's what we worked on, and that's what we talked about. And when we come back, Idaho women's coach John Newley sits down with us right here on Inside the Vandals.